Hello, my name is Alejandro Garcia Maynes. Welcome to another video of sociology. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the classics of sociology. Well, uh, in this video I will not mention any uh, author, any name of authors. I will just give their principal uh, perspectives uh, from the classic sociology. Uh, we have uh, here one author that constantly talk about uh, the statics about the suicide in some regions of Europe and uh, he talks that uh, suicide is uh, like um, a failure in the, in the mental uh, health of the people and it's uh, when uh, this uh, person do not get uh, integrated to the uh, to the society so then um, he starts to think uh, in suicide uh, the thing here is that um, this author mentioned uh, things like the temperature it's uh, included on the on the results of the suicide in the countries uh, that he made the statics. So um, everybody maybe think that uh, suicide is more uh, probable in the areas that are uh, hottest than the areas that are colder. So. Uh, here the situation is that uh, suicide is more uh, present on the countries uh, with more cold because uh, people is constantly depressed about uh, the cold and this make uh, the people uh, to suicide more uh, when it's cold, when the weather is cold. At, uh, we have uh, more differences on the climate that is hot uh, it's the suicide it would be uh, less so um, uh, the thing that this author said it's uh, the principal um, theories of this author is the temperature and how the temperature influences into the suicide so the process of socializations uh, influence to in the suicide the um, how the this person is uh, socializing uh, with their families influence uh, to in the suicide. This is just a resume of this uh, classic author that talks about the suicide. So uh, we have uh, another author that constantly uh, talks about the influence that we have in the society uh, related to the economy and this author um, involves in their um, explanations that uh, we find out uh, constantly um, the religion involved into economic interests and in political interest. So um, we have uh, this uh, author uh, talks about the types of uh, domination that uh, we have in the society. Um, maybe mention uh, the char characteristics of domination domination it's uh, almost like mention the author uh, i would not like uh, to mention the name of the author but i think i am not stolen any idea from this author i'm just explaining what's their idea and i'm going to give you a perspective of mine of myself so um, this author uh, gives a, a charismatic domination, a legitimatic uh, domination, and a political uh, domination. So, um, 
we uh, find out and uh, and uh, in which uh, category of dominations there are more dominations that I don't remember right now, but uh, there's uh, three dominations that I have mentioned I, uh, are the uh, principal dominations that this author uh, mentioned on his book. So um, we have another book that sets. Uh, the capital it's um, very interesting to analyze when um, we talk about uh, there is a religion there is a, a like a spirit that make us to uh, gather um, money to gather uh, different kinds of material as a representation of our power as a representation of how much we can get uh, from the sources and the goods that we have in the nature and the goods uh, that uh, we have uh, under um, on our society. So um, these things uh, are uh, very well uh, analyzed in this book. Uh, we have other classical authors that talks about the daily life that uh, we have in the in the society, and this uh, makes us uh, to understand how um, the the reality is constantly changing in the society, and. Um, Uh, we have we have other uh, authors that um, are uh, claiming for new uh, perspectives in the sociology for new uh, points of view, and uh, it's necessary to uh, analyze the classic authors that talk about the capital, that talk about. Uh, how the work is divided into different uh, categories and how uh, this um, uh, this uh, theories are applied nowadays uh, it doesn't matter how many years passes this uh, theories about uh, the accumulation of capital and uh, uh, and how uh, we can product uh, goods and and how we give services uh, to the society. So these authors constantly give formulas to um, find out how the capital is working on the society. Uh, we have once again an author that talks about the religion and how the religion has been influenced to the society and uh, he talks that the religion it's um, having principles uh, principal explanations that um, religion it's very necessary to the society to uh, give peace to the world and to guide the societies into uh, having a good community and good um, as a social status and if it guides to the society to uh, to a better better roads in the society, so uh, uh, we can talk if we talk about uh, the religions, uh, we uh, said that uh, we can say it about the totems, we can uh, say it about uh, Christianism, Catholicism. Uh, Judaism um, uh, and some other Arab uh, religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, and all these religions have uh, their own goddesses. So, as I told in other videos, uh, I have I would uh, be mention uh, religion constantly in these videos because it's necessary to understand the classical um, uh, the classical authors that are giving us 
the information for understanding our our situation in our society. So um, uh, let me think in other authors that I have read. Uh, we have a very important influence uh, uh, with the Jewish authors and how uh, these Jewish authors have been uh, uh, put us into different points of views and these different points of views uh, make us uh, to understand more how uh, the society is working. Uh, this author that I'm talking about, I will not mention his name, but uh, he talks about the concomitant and cultural facts that guide us in the society to get a better place in the society, to get a better society, to get uh, better results into the society. So it's important to mention uh, the Jewish authors and how the Jewish authors have been influenced into the sociology world and into the uh, social sciences. So, um, if we can uh, specify uh, the Jewish authors, we have many classical Jewish authors that have been included into the sociology. So, um, uh, another author that will influence in the sociology that maybe are not classics, but uh, have been included like in the in the sociology and the law it's uh, giving new perspectives on, and they are um, taking more advices for uh, to the sociology to understand the law because uh, when uh, sociologists start to understand the law uh, they uh, began to uh, understand how the society it's so important to take the society into the accounts of taking decisions before um, having a law into our countries into our nations or including the international organizations for uh, the correct uh, uh, the correct uh, review of the new world order so, and to give peace to the world. So it's important uh, to understand these classical authors that I have uh, not mentioned, but I have been given their principal uh, theories. So uh, these classical authors, as the philosophy do, uh, this, the philosophy sciences do, it's to give a point of reference uh, to understand any kind of sciences. So uh, I have been analyzed. Uh, I can categorize myself I, as a classic author. If I look to the future, uh, like uh, if I let past uh, 300 years in the future, I will be a classical author. So that's why uh, uh, making a review to the writings of the new sociologists that are now uh, surgering in the 2017 will be the future of the people that will going to analyze this perspective in the in uh, in 300 years ago. I'm talking about 2317. Uh, uh, year in the future, I will be maybe the best sociologist from the perspectives that uh, that the people will live on the 23, uh, 17 years ago uh, years in the future in the future. So that's why understanding the classical authors and understanding how important is the religion to understand and to having a timeline on the life make us to understand our past, our present and our future. So 
If I talk about uh, the classical authors, I will maybe talk about uh, classical authors that uh, maybe in philosophy uh, have we have to remind dates after Christ and dates before Christ. So uh, that's why maybe uh, the prophets that uh, are existing now in the world give us points of reference to understand to the classical uh, authors that we have. So, we have, we have to uh, be very serious uh, when we are talking about the authors and when we are um, given a timeline so uh, that's why the Jewish religion it will be uh, like seeing like always the same because uh, they don't believe in the past prophets they don't believe in the future prophets they just believe in the Old Testament so uh, I will not talk about particularly of the Jewish in these videos but uh, it's necessary to understand that Jewish people give a timeline too so we can understand uh, the base on their, of their religion by thinking about the Jewish but the Jewish are not the base of the religions the base of the religions are the ones that, uh, that practice uh, some primitive religions that were included before the Jewish uh, religions or the Judaism religions exist. That's why uh, we have so many war in the world. That's why um, there are so many conflicts because we are now just based on the prophets that nowadays exist or in the past existed. So, uh, new prophets are getting generated, but these new prophets are in the church, are uh, looking uh, a guide to, but they are just having an imitation of what really is God. So, understanding this perspective that I'm giving to you is based on the books that classical authors have been writing so uh, that's why writing uh, since many years ago have a lot of importance because writing will make us to understand how uh, really important it's uh, the society for understanding our world and, and uh, where we come from so, uh, I have never uh, read a book that uh, talks about alien or artificial intelligence. Maybe there are some books that Jewish people have been taking, like artificial intelligence have been included into our minds. And uh, this artificial influence is giving us uh, uh, constantly information in our mind to then uh, have uh, to then give this information to the people that we know so that's why it's so important to understand this artificial intelligence is given now to uh, uh, to we the scientists to make us to understand more the world and to make us to have the information in our hands. So nowadays, the media it's uh, giving us uh, a perspective. They are constantly watching us. They are constantly analyzing. Like I am talking now into the computer. To the computer, maybe the computer uh, can be understand me. This sounds a little bit crazy, but this is the result of reading classicals of making sure we are understanding what the humans want to give the information to the world so these humans 
are uh, taking part of the society are making their own dreams truth with the technology they are making their own dreams truth between uh, meetings that they do into into some coffees into uh, many different situations that we found out in the societies so understanding uh, this these perspectives that I'm given to you uh, are based are sorry I'm based on books so these books give us the information about uh, how we are making our own reality uh, truth so um, there is something very important in the knowledge that I will talk more about it in other videos about the sociology of the knowledge how the sociology of the knowledge works into uh, uh, into stopping the knowledge into one point because uh, the, ang the society starts to get angry about the things because maybe you have the reason of what are you telling to the world so that's why sometimes people said he stole me this idea he did my project he stole my projects he stole my idea he stole my my my, my homework but this is really the transformation of the sociology of the knowledge this sociology of the knowledge we will find out to in the classical sociology in the classical philosophy in the classical biology in the classical physical classicals and everything but why sociology is so important because there is no knowledge if there is no process of socialization so that's why we are constantly asking where do we come from so just only the sociology of knowledge the sociology of religion the sociology of the interpretary interpretative sociology and other other sciences like kabbalah other sciences uh, uh, like religion will give us a new perspective of the classical sociology well I'm almost finished this video I want to conclude uh, I uh, almost always do my videos like 17 minutes uh, 20 minutes now I have 23 11 minutes talking with you uh, if you now arrive here uh, to the video this is uh, uh, this means that you are really interested on why what I'm talking about and maybe you uh, have not um, look uh, to someone uh, that talks about this uh, that's why I'm very interested to and to talk about uh, this these situations uh, to you so um, the knowledge the knowledge it's always there so well concluding the idea of uh, of this uh, thing that I have been talking to you about the sociology of of um, the knowledge, the sociology of the um, of the sorry, um, I'm tired now. Uh, I um, I have been um, talking too much in this video, but. Uh, concluding, concluding the idea of the sociology of classics that is basically now the sociology of classics uh, if you want uh, to um, to do another video for you uh, please let me know and uh, write your comments below and please like and share the video and have a nice day